The last of the tribe takes place in the state of Rondonia, in the Brazilian Amazon. Rondonia is a place that, in the 80s and 90s, underwent some of the most intense deforestation of anywhere on the planet, actually in the history of the planet. Indigenous tribes that lived in those forests were uprooted by that development and clashes, periodic clashes between the settlers and those tribes became somewhat common. The book is essentially about a team of experts who try to solve a mystery. They've been told a rumor that there's a man who lives in the Amazon completely separated from anyone else with no contact with another living soul. And they spend years investigating this, uh, uncovering evidence, tracking the Indian. And what they ultimately discover is a pretty amazing example of the human will to survive. There are a group of agents who work for the Brazilian government, and their job is to find and protect the isolated or uncontacted tribes that still live in the Amazon. Those are tribes that are completely uh, disconnected from the mainstream of modern life. The Indian's life is one of almost unimaginable solitude. Um, he has absolutely no contact with anyone else other than the team members who um, have attempted to communicate with him. Um, every single aspect of his life is done alone. He makes his own weapons, he hunts wild game, collects fruits, honey, um, builds his own shelters. It's very hard to convey the extent of that isolation and how difficult it really is um, to maintain a life under those circumstances. Um, it really is as if he's the last survivor of that world, um, and he's one of the most just truly isolated individuals that's ever been documented.